click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, today we will see applications of X-ray. We know X-rays are electromagnetic waves of very short wavelength. So it has a very high penetration power also. So because of its property, it is applicable in so many fields. So there are scientific application, there are industrial application, and there are medical applications of the X-ray. So let us see briefly applications of X-ray. Let us start the medical application of X-ray. So X-rays are used in the treatment of the cancer. In this second application, we can generate radiograph to find or to detect cracks or fracture in the bone. Actually, X-ray is having a very good penetration power, but it can pass through the phosphorus, but it cannot pass through the calcium. So our muscles are made up of phosphorus, so it can pass through our muscles and our bones are made up of calcium, so it cannot pass through the calcium. So it gives the shadow of the bone, that is shadow of that calcium bone on the radiograph. So in this way, we can detect whether there are cracks or fracture in the bone. Third medical application is, it is used to detect the position of bullet in the body. By using radiograph, we can detect the position of bullet in the body. Fourth medical application is X-ray is used to destroy the tumor cells. Let us see industrial application of X-rays. X-rays used in metal industry to detect the cracks or leakage in the metal pipes. It is used to detect cracks in the aeroplane or motor cars. Let us see what are the scientific applications of X-ray. In scientific field, X-rays are used to study the crystal structure. For studying the crystal structure, we are using method that is the Bragg's diffraction. Now, let us consider this case. Suppose we have a crystal. Crystal Now, in a crystal, we know there is a 3D periodic arrangement of atom ions or molecule. And let us say this is the interatomic distance D. Now, for diffraction pattern, we want the wavelength of incident light should be or approximately equal to the interplanar distance. 
or the distance that is a slit. So here we can say this is act as a slit. Now we know the interplanar distance in case of the crystal is very very small. This distance is approximately 10 angstrom unit. Now to study the structure we required the light wave with a very very short wavelength and the wavelength of x-ray is in between 1 angstrom unit to 100 angstrom unit. It means we can say this interplanar distance of the crystal is approximately equal to the wavelength of x-ray. So only x-rays because of its very short wavelength it is used to study the crystal structure. Then x-rays are used to analyze the organic structures also. So in this way, there are various applications of X-ray in the scientific field, in the engineering or industrial field, and in the medical field. Thanks for watching this video. Stay tuned with Ikeda and please subscribe Ikeda. Thank you.